What a lovely day for fishing. Hi, Mr. Wilson. Until now. Going fishing? Yes, I am, and no, you can't. Can't what? Come along. Why, George, huh? how sweet of you to invite Dennis to come along. All right. You can come along. Oh, boy. Thanks, Mr. Wilson. Just try not to cause... any trouble. Oh. Welcome to the 20th Annual Lake Wachee Patachi Fishing Derby. May the best angler win. I'm a cinch to catch old Gramps this year. No fish can resist my special carp egg bait. Better eat this if you want to keep up your energy. Good thinking, Dennis. Mmm, delicious. What kind of sandwich is this? Peanut butter and this stuff. My carp egg bait. Hey, come back with Mr. Wilson's lunch. That was old Gramps. Let's go after him. Sure thing, Mr. Wilson. Dennis, you forgot to pull in the anchor. Engine, full throttle. Wow! Oh. We'll cut him off at the pass. Aye, aye, Captain Wilson. Mm. You got my lad. Come back here. Go eat the car, bag. Cheater. Please, Dennis. What? Where are you going? We got him, Mr. Wilson. We got him. We don't got him. Uh-oh. We're caught in the weeds. This might be a good time to regroup our forces. Bait for old Gramps! Gotcha! My lucky hat! Gone! Wow, that's one hungry fish! And I'm one hungry fisherman! After him, Dennis! Okay, Mr. Wilson! Thanks, Dennis. I needed that. Wow! Ah! Wow, he's a toughie. Whoa! That I didn't need. Don't worry, Mr. Wilson. I'll save you. Contest is now over. Shucks. Time sure flies when you're having fun. Oh no! Dennis, stop! And it looks like no one wins the trophy. Here, Mr. Wilson, let me help you out of those wet boots. As I was saying, no one wins the trophy because no one caught. Oh, Gramps! You did it, Mr. Wilson. You won the cup. Okay, Mr. Wilson, let's see a big smile now. Back up a little. A little bit more. That's far enough. Ah, what a perfect...
super relaxing. And here's some nice, cool lemonade to go with it. Hi, Mr. Wilson. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> What's that? Good thing Ruff likes lemonade, or it would be all over your favorite chair. Huh, Mr. Wilson? Dennis, don't you have some place to go? Nope, Mr. Wilson. You're in luck. You and me can spend the whole day together. Wonderful. Now, if you'll just keep quiet, I'd like to watch the news. And now for the latest midday news. This just in. There's been a robbery. At Gordy's Jewelry Store. At Gordy's Jewelry Store. Dennis, how did you know that? Simple. I heard it an hour ago on this thing my friend PB built. PB? The one who's always inventing things? Uh-huh. Unfortunately, the two jewel robbers managed to escape. They did not. They caught them at first in Maine. Wait, this just handed to me. The robbers have just been caught at the corner of first and Maine. You knew those things even before they announced it on the news. Sure. PB put this thing together from an old cassette recorder. And I heard lots of stuff, like how they put out the fire at Miller's Drugstore. And now for another bulletin, the fire at Miller's Drugstore has just been put out. This is amazing! That thing can predict the future! the ermine carpet, sir, but the mink one is at the cleaners. All right, but don't let it happen again. Good day, Mr. Wilson. I haven't any change with me, but instead, here's a tip. Buy Minneapolis. They'll discover oil on it Tuesday. Oh, thank you, Mr. Wilson. Thank you. Hey, Mr. Wilson! Wake up, Mr. Wilson! What? What happened? You were having some sort of daydream, George. Dennis, maybe you'd better go now. Dennis, go? No way. Martha, this wonderful young man is my best friend in the entire world. Dennis lets you and I go to PB's house and find that invention he built. How can I say no to my best friend? You want that broken old cassette recorder PB was fooling with? I threw that piece of junk in the garbage. The garbage? It's gone. It must have been picked up by the garbage truck. Look, Mr. Wilson. There goes the garbage truck. I've got to stop it. But, Mr. Wilson... I'll just borrow Phoebe's bike, Mrs. Kappa. I've got to get that recorder. Mr. Wilson, wait! Phoebe just invented a super turbo power brake for that bike. He hasn't even tested it yet. Good old Mr. Wilson will be happy to test it out. I'd better go see how it's working. Super Turbo Power Brakes work? Power Brakes? Ew, Mr. Wilson. Doesn't that garbage make you feel yucky? Yes. But as long as I'm here, I may as well look for Phoebe's invention. Goodness, what's happening? Mr. Wilson is looking for Phoebe's cassette recorder. I know it's in here somewhere. I tried to tell you it's not in there. Some kids picked it up on their way to the beach. The beach? Come on, Dennis. You know what it looks like. Yeah, it's kind of, sort of... Never mind. You'll know it when you see it. Something happens to men at that age.
This is hopeless. No one could find anything in this crowd. I can. There it is. Huh? That's Peavy's invention. Dennis, are you sure you're not mistaken? Yeah, I'm sure that's the one. Great. Oh, no. That garbage truck is going to take it. Oops. Oh, no. Skateboard too. Yay, Mr. Wilson. equipment. Fifty bucks? Wow! Thanks, Pops! I mustn't lose sight of that truck. Meet me at the garbage dump. Sure, Mr. Wilson. This isn't too difficult once they get the hang of it. Ha <laughs> ha! It's a piece of cake! Garbage truck more fun than the skateboard? Definitely. I love garbage. Too bad you came in the wrong truck. The truck with PB's invention was blue. We'll never find it now. It's gone for good. No, it's not. Look! The blue truck! Wow! That's what I call a million-dollar invention. Wow, Mr. Wilson, you really do like garbage. It's mine at last. Oh, how sweet it is. Mr. Wilson, why is a broken tape recorder so important to you? Don't you understand, Dennis? This predicts the future. That's silly. There's no such thing as a machine that tells the future. Even I know that. But what about when you predicted those news events before they happened? Aw, oh, that? Peavy fixed it to pick up police calls. I'll show you. Attention all patrol cars. There's just been a traffic accident at Elm and Maple Street. It's just a police radio? That's right. But, but why didn't you tell me? Because you were having too much fun. Riding bicycles, skateboards, digging in the garbage. Besides, you never asked me. Never asked you? Anyway, thanks for a terrific day, Mr. Wilson. Ow. Oh, boy! The creature from the Maroon Lagoon. That's some scary movie. I wouldn't know. I always watch it with my eyes shut. I wish we had two dollars so we could see it again. Me too. 
Hello, Dennis. Oh, hi, Mr. Simpkins. How would you two like to earn a little spending money? Doing what? Delivering this package to 212 Elm Street. I'm too busy to do it myself. Sure we'll do it for $2. $2 it is. Now, it's very important that it's delivered before 3 o'clock. Sure thing, Mr. Simpkins. Wow, Dennis, now we can go see that monster movie. But first, we've got to deliver this package. I wonder what's in it anyway. Uh-oh. What is it? The package is ticking. Why is it doing that? I think I know why. I think that guy gave us a bomb to deliver. You mean the kind that blows up stuff? Right. And we've got to get rid of it. Come on. Okay, that's deep enough. Drop in the package, Joey. Nobody will ever find it now. You're doggone right. Whew. That was close. We buried that thing just in time. Oh, no, Ruff! I thought he was a sheepdog, not a retriever. I'm getting tired, Dennis. Just a little further, Joey. We'll dump it on the other side of the hill so it can't blow up anything. Okay, this is far enough. Bye-bye, Bomb! Look, Dennis. It fell into that truck. Joey, this just isn't our day. <laughs> it's pulling into the supermarket. I wonder if they're going to try and sell it. we got to get that package before it blows up the whole store. Come on, Joey. We've got to stop it. Look, Joey, there it is. Now, just what do you think you're doing? We're trying to get that package before it blows up the place. Yeah, it's a time bomb. A time bomb? That's ridiculous. Honest, mister, it really is. There it is! Oh, that box. No, don't. Yeah, it is a bomb! Bombs make me go all to pieces! Good cat! We've got to get it out of here! We're still in one piece. How can you tell? So you kids finally got here. I knew I should have delivered the package myself. And look at the terrible shape it's in. Look at the terrible shape we're in. Why, what a surprise. Now, Mother, you didn't think I'd forget your birthday, did you? Look what I got for you. What a lovely gift. A cuckoo clock. Well, Joey, I guess I goofed. I guess you did. Well, at least we've still got the two dollars. Let's go see that movie. We'd like two tickets, please. You'll need two dollars more. The price has changed to three. Don't you boys ever look at a clock? Look at a clock!